what is up everyone northside here and as i promised on saturday to, which is today i am presenting you with my dps build single target build that i called dragon killer because we are going to be fighting dragons for a while however with few changes you can uh, this build can be used for other content easily with shuffling the companions and changing some pieces of the gear but this build is mostly for the dragon hunts and to be more more most efficient in dragon killing or dragon slaying as you wish this is an augmented build as you can see around my head it is with icosahedron ironstone and i will explain why because my companion just die in the ancient dragon hunts and uh, I, I don't see it useful so i just opted for the augmented build for the ancient dragon hunts for now and if i make any changes i will update the build and of course i will make a build with uh, for the aoe this is a single target build so let's begin we're going to start with the ability score history everything is in strength as you can see here and in charisma why, why strength because stamina regeneration and physical damage boost why charisma because of forte and recharge speed recharge speed mostly so all points are in there as you can see here Regarding the gear, we're going to start from left to right. Regarding the helmet piece, superior helmet of the Dragon Hunter is providing me 7% increased critical strike when in combat with only one enemy, which is a dragon. Armor piece is just upgraded version of the Blast Bow Devil Ribcage, and it provides me with 1.5% critical strike and critical severity for 15 seconds. Max X5, it was nerfed, never mind. Now, Mighty One Braces of the Dragon Hunter. I gain 1% damage resistance when I, when I strike an enemy, it stacks 5 times, and when I'm struck, the stacks are consumed, and I gain 1% damage per stack. And I actually replaced my Risk Guard of Precipitation, which was providing me with power, because I was a hand on Iron Stone, is giving power, critical strike, and combat advantage. Regarding the weapons, I'm using mostly Lionheart Greatsword, however, if the party is a pre-made, and they're using... Uh, master rook weapons i switch to favored or ma or any mastered bronzewood uh, also works and stacks with any with any master rook weapons artifact modification is in cash breast strike as you can see here and on the lionheart great sword i have stamina regeneration and enhance combat advantage as you can see here now i am using mod 22 wasteland wanderers when you're 25 feet or closer to your target your combat advantage is increased by five percent on the right side, artifact set, I am still using Demogorgon's Reach, Shard's Twine as you can see here, same goes for Sinia's Cord, which is giving me 6 constitution for some more HP, even though we are scaled in the Dragon Hunts. Now regarding the rings, I opted for Vaysaker Ring of Punishment, because not everybody has the actual band of air, as you can see here, so uh, I'm not going to exclude anybody. And this ring is pretty good, my Atwill powers do 8% more damage. And the second ring is Mightbreaker Ring of Elegance, which gives Scale Smasher plus 10% damage against dragons. Pants and Shirts, Mighty Dwarven Body Pilot Pattern. And it's a two set, it give, it's giving me 1.5 thousand power, critical severity and awareness. Same goes for the pants, it's a set. Now regarding the enhancements, I'm going to show you right here. We got one Citrine Enchantment, Amethyst. Cobalt enchantment, Garnet enchantment in the offense. Defense are all Garnet enchantments with actual defense. We got utility Garnet for Forte. And we have stamina bonus because you can, uh, you, I really need stamina. Regarding the artifacts, of course, there, there is the Morgan's Ridge because of the set. And I kept my uh, journals. So I'm using Flayed, Frozen, and Envenom 1. Regarding the overloads, I'm using the stronghold dragon slayer that my damaging at will encounter and daily powers deal additional 10 percent damage against dragon type enemies and it works the second one is double precision it's giving me five percent critical chance and five percent accuracy as you can see here regarding the buff foods as you can see here i'm using crafted portion of accuracy i use satayed that gives that is giving me my a little bit hp and also movement speed and i use in core storm which is critical strike and critical severity before i forget i'm still using female git for the combat advantage and now we're going to switch to powers in regarding to powers we're going to start with the feats 
I'm still using Relentless Speed, Blood Spiller, Over Penetration, Steel Slam, and also Relentless Battle Rage. So nothing really changed. Regarding the class features, I am using Steel Blitz. It's always in my bar, and I'm actually using Steady Rage, General Rage over time while in combat. I really need to get fast into Battle Rage and do more damage and be immune to some effects from the dragon. Regarding the encounter powers, we have Blood Letter, which is feeded the, with magnitude 920, Frenzy, and Indomitable Battle Strike, magnitude 750. Daily power, main daily power is Savage Advance, uh, the other power is Avalanche of Steel if I'm in real trouble. Main at will is, is actually Rush Strike, of course. And Relentless Slash is there just for that 5% increased damage dealt. Regarding the boons, I am not going to go through all the boons. You can always pause the video. So I'm going to just leave you guys and girls to compare your boons. Regarding the Stronghold boons, Offense is a critical severity bonus. Defense is a defense bonus. I am using utility movement speed because, as I said, I really need to be mobile, especially in ancient dragon hunts, and that's it. If I'm not in the hunts, I'm just using mount speed bonus as it is. Now, companions. As I said, I'm using Icosahedron Ironstone. Regarding the equipment, you can see I'm just going to hover over it. Accuracy critical severity, accuracy critical strike and accuracy combat advantage. Acute senses are here for 7.5% more combat advantage. And now we got Dragon Bane for 11% damage versus dragon creatures. The bigger they are, 8.6 damage versus strong enemies. But Theory Wisdom, 11% damage versus bosses. Also, Face Spider Presence, Critical Chance, and Combat Advantage. And Golden Cant Instincts, 7.5% combat advantage. I am using Giant Toad Tongue Leash uh, in combination with the artif Artifact Call and it does a really good damage. Uh, it's really high high hitting. Uh, the magnitude is 3000 and, and it's really good. Rapid accuracy for 4.5000 4, 4. accuracy. Regarding the stable, uh, I'm using Assassin's Covenant two times. That decreasing, they are decreasing my defensive rating by, by increasing my sum of offensive rating, just two of them. Gladiator Gull for moving faster when my stamina is high and region stamina when it's low, very important, two times also. And I'm, I kept World Inspiration uh, if I switch to actual uh, summoned companion, if you wish. Now, also what I want to show you, what, what is really important is that I am using, as you can see here, a vacant forger box for increasing power and random effects. And also I am using Wondrous Dragon that I kind of divided it so it gives me 3% damage resistance and damage against dragons. So not just 6% damage against dragons, if you wish. Regarding the buff foods for the dragons, I'm using Ancient Greater Potion of Dragon Slaying, as you can see here, and increases the damage I deal to the dragons by 10% for uh, 1200 seconds and it persists through death so if i die i'm dead but the the potion is still there and also ancient greater scroll of protection of dragons which is reducing the damage i take from dragons by 10 percent also lasts 20 minutes and persists through death and you can see in this corner i didn't actually activate it, the scroll so you can see that i have greater scroll and also potion of dragon slaying. Let's go and ro one rotate the dragon and I will show you how my rotation works really really quick. Okay we're gonna do the actual young dragon just one rotation so I can show you how it works. Of course in the party it will work differently. So the dragon will be landing, place a debuff immediately on him, pop the artifact, pop the toad, use your encounters, evade his attack, go into battle rage, use your daily and just keep whacking him and whacking him and whacking him. He will do his stuff, of course. And he will be done very soon. He stunned me, never mind. He is immune and he is done in a minute. So, Relentless Slash, Artifact, Giant Toad Leash, or your mount power, 
use your encounters, get into that battle rage and kick his ass. And that's all there is to it. So thank you for watching. This was Northside. Shout out to my channel members and Northside is out.